Hello and welcome to the channel. Thank you for tuning in and a big thank you if you subscribed. And for all new ones, thank you for dropping by and having a look. Um, today's upload is of a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, the first part consists of mushroom foraging. And on the second part, I put a few clips in when I went mackerel fishing with my son. There's only a few clips. I, I really didn't have much time for filming because I was so getting busy with, busy with him uh, and setting him up and it's like nursing him. But he caught nine mackerels and I caught four. So even though I helped him getting men in and a bit of casting and things like that, so so he was over the moon, so I'm happy. So yeah, so I, I leave uh, the timings in in there so you can skip if you don't want to watch the mushroom foraging and if you don't like to watch the fishing then to stop when the fishing starts so very simple so i hope you enjoy what you see and here we are hello and welcome to my channel thank you for tuning in if you're new to the, to the channel Thank you for popping popping in and having a look. Be great if you can subscribe as well. It would be brilliant. Right. Today we are having a little walk at Blair Adams, which is just by Kelty. And we're gonna have a look for some pokinis today. Or sets or penny bun, whatever way you want to call them and yeah yeah just going to the forest or on the way to the forest there's the car park yeah and we keep you updated as we go along it's not going to be a big tour so we're just going to have a walk for an hour and see what we can find so stay tuned well, here we have a what's called looks like a as a brown grisette. Yeah, very fragile, very fragile. They are classed as edible, but I never tasted them. I'm not going to, because by the time you get home, there's nothing left for me. Yeah, just carry carry on. We found some rustlers, the normal types, stinkhorns. Uh, over there, and that area is just loaded with stink horns. So, but we after Pokini today. Oh yes, you can see some false chanterelles. Here we are, false chanterelles. When you cut them, they're actually orange inside. Some more here. Yeah. All full chanterelles. Yeah, when you cut them inside, they're actually orange, and they have gills, two gills. Right, let's look for some pokinis. Yeah, here's one of them stink ones. So, whole area here is loaded with these. There's some more over there. In the distance you can see all the white yeah loaded I just want to show you these I will leave the name in the on the top somewhere these are indicator for porkinis yeah have a really a mealy mealy smell to it similar like the St. George's mushrooms and normally normally when you find these you can find some porkinis because yesterday I found a bikini just over here. There's some more here, the indicators. And yesterday I actually found a bikini here. 
Is this one here? Nope. Oh, here is a little baby one. There you go. Tiny little baby one. Baby Pokini, so we keep it covered. So, there we go. Tiny little one. Any more? Nope. Yeah, there's a broken one. So, yeah, some more, some folds, chanderelles. So, no more bikinis? No. Okay. Okay. Stay tuned, we keep you updated. Yeah, some of the rustler, they can grow very, very big. Yeah. Uh, one of the greenish, yeah, good edible ones, but. Not today, <laughs> too old. Now here's a place where we have loads and loads and loads of uh, pokinis. Yeah, very tiny ones, indicators. Yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, through with the dogs and everything, they're just gonna be squashed. Yeah, so what a shame. Anyway, we did find some, not big enough. Yeah, here yeah, we have some porcelain fungus, slimy little buggers. Right, let's see what we get. Uh, there's a red cracking bolete there. Let's see what else we can find here. There's a bay bolete, but it's already the golden fungi, the gold fungus already got hold of it. Right, maybe find some younger ones here. We did yesterday, so we found a few here. Mm -hmm. no, they're just, oh, just rustlers, rustlers, rustlers. No, nothing here. Oh yeah, there's a beautiful, beautiful one. I hope it don't slip down. Yeah, yeah, there's a nice bay bullet here. There you go. Yeah, nice yellow tubes, brownish stalk, velvety brown cap. Beautiful. It's coming home with me. Yeah, there's another old one here. Oh, there's another one down here. It's very hard to see. Yeah, oh yeah, there's another beautiful one here. Another bay bullet. Let's tuck it in. Yeah. Right, let's see if there's any more here. Bay bullets are equally in taste with the Pokini. Other ones there? No, they're not what we're looking for. Yeah, I think that's it here. All right, we just found here. I had to climb a little bit, or my son had to climb a bit. It's a large bullet. When they're so like young, they're beautiful to eat. You just have to get rid of this uh, the slime skin, and they're beautiful to eat. Uh, large bullet. I just have to add something about large bullets. Large bullets only grow with large trees. But here up in Scotland or on the Highlands, you you can get large bullets that actually have a brown head. Instead of the golden, the gold, gelb, uh, yellow ones. Uh, last year, up in the, near Bremer, we found loads of uh, loads of them with a the, with a brown head, and uh, they're equally in taste, but also they still only grow with large trees. 
So, first time I found him, I was a bit uh, gobsmacked. <laughs> Couldn't quite what to make of it. I uh, looked in the books, and yeah, and you don't find them in any other, any other part of the country here, nor in other parts of Europe. I don't know about America or whatever, but yeah, as I said, they're really nice to eat. It's a bit of work trying to get the slime skin off slimy skin and from the stem as well you have to scrape it off but it's, it's quite easily done so okay stay tuned and we'll keep you updated but right, I just spotted something in the distance there and let's see what it is Whoa, no they're not bikinis No. Looks like uh, something from the Amanita family. Looks like the yellow Amanita from here. Something over there. Yeah, old red cracking bullet. There's something else there. So let's have a look here. Yeah, it's the same, some from the Am Amanita, I think it's the yellow Amanita. Right, okay, let's get back over. Nothing else here? No? Okay. Right, we're just going into a woodland here, where I found some bokinis last year. Spruce trees. Let's have a look. Uh, someone stumbled over. There's a baby one here. I didn't find any. I found one baby one. Oh, no. Hold on. Uh, there's a small one here, or part of it. Let's have a look. Uh, all broken bits. Hmm, unless animals. What animals eat mushrooms? Huh? What animals eat mushrooms? Oh, lots of animals. Well, I'm Let's have a look here. Animals, squirrels, and rabbits. Yeah, squirrels, foxes. There's another baby one here. Huh? There's a small one here as well. Oh, yeah, there's a tiny one here. So they all start growing. Yeah, this is another baby one there. I don't know if you can see it. So they all start coming out. Nothing big yet. Let's have a look a little bit up there and see. Oh, there's a big stinkhorn here. Uh, there's some more stinkhorn eggs over there. So, well, I haven't found any more bikini, it's just stinkhorn, stinkhorn after stinkhorn. Right. And we're just coming into another area where we found some before. And yesterday we found some really little baby ones. And uh, let's see. Any luck? Yeah. Huh? Oh yeah, we hear some baby ones. This is really baby. And I think I really bring it just a bit. I can't tell it is not So it was like so we're digging different areas but Yeah, we found some here yesterday. Yeah, they've already been eaten by something, snails. Ah, uh, here. Yeah. 
Uh, we'll just leave them covered. There are some more here. Oh, here. Yeah, there's a broken one. Yeah, uh, somewhere here. Yeah. Why well, we just even burn until they come out? As I said in the beginning, it was just a, a quick tour. I just have a look around at uh, some of the other trees here. Uh, yeah, just an evening walk in, in the woods. And uh, yeah, we achieved what we, what we came for. We found some bikinis, even though they're small. But yeah, things are happening. So this, the season season has started loads more variety and uh, yeah we did, we did find a, a few mushrooms to take home uh, so yeah go back towards car and thanks for watching and hopefully we see you on the next episode so Okay, till next time, bye bye. I mean, unless my daughter, we're going to meet up with my daughter in a minute, unless she found something, I will add it to the video. If not, of course I won't. And we'll see you till next time. Cheerio! Wow, my daughter found a beautiful birch bullet. Wow, what, what this is just unbelievable the size of it and it's so firm, lovely, beautiful. Well done, of course. This is going to come home. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, thank you for watching. That's the end. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Okay, let's tie him out first, Norbert. Okay. Just, yeah, just hold it, let him tie out a little bit. Wow, first cast three <laughs> my <goodness. laughs> yeah, How you feel, Norbert? Huh? Okay. Yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Okay. Let me hold, hold on a second, Norbert. Yeah? There were more on there. Anyway. I think they came off. Yeah, go on. Pressure, 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 pressure. So, okay, low, low your rod. No, 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 no. Low your rod and lift it, no bad. Higher. That's it. There you go. Perfect. Perfect execution. Oh, feeding frenzy. My son has got a mackerel on. Yeah. How's it feel? Close. Oh, yeah, it's close. Okay, lower your rod and then up. That's it. That's the one. Perfect. Well, in all, we caught 13 mackerel. We let one small one go. My son got nine and I got four. So he beat me again. <laughs>